Hello everyone, welcome back to Skelterina DIY. Today I want to share with you this lovely little mini room divider that I made. You can use it for all sorts of things. Oh my gosh, what the hell is that? I use it to hide my adorable beastie's adorable poop because I don't want to see it. I needed to figure out how tall my divider should be so that you can't see over it until you come right up close. Using my hand to kind of block out the puppy pad, I figured that was right about yay high or 40 inches. I bought two 8 by 10 foot boards, except I swear these only measure 7 inches, and had them cut each board into three 40 inch pieces, which works out perfectly. I painted them with a wash of purple and then went over the lighter spots with blue, just kind of in a random fashion. The quickest, easiest faux finishing in the world. Also, I need you to pretend that I'm not using craft paint right now. <laughs> Pretend <laughs> instead that I'm using Glidden's uh, Deep Arctic Night for the blue and what is it? And Black Tulip for the purple. They're two beautiful colors, two of my favorite paint colors lately. Too bad you can't see them here though. <laughs> okay, hinges. So if I want the divider to be able to fold up, I need to put the hinges on alternating sides of the divider for each connection. Does that make sense? And if I want the center to point outwards like this, then the center hinges need to be on the back side. And I measured and placed them all 10 inches from the edge. I did a couple before I realized I forgot to put any kind of protective finish on my beautiful paint job. So for this project, I just wanted something basic. So I just rubbed the entire thing down with paste wax. Also, whenever you need to work on the opposite side, make sure to flip your boards over long ways. Think of it like a seesaw that's going all the way around. This keeps all your boards in the same spot. If you were to flip each board over sideways, then you would end up scrambling whatever paint design you had. Look how beautiful. It really has become one of my favorite pieces of decor. It adds a beautiful pop of jewel tones right there. And you can't see Sadie's adorable rainbow poop unless you're standing right up close and you peek over. <laughs> I've had this project in my head for years, really. Sadie's tiny and she's old and she tries to make it outside, but this dog pees 30 times a day. So I have to have puppy pads. Of course, you can use yours any way or anywhere you want, but I wouldn't recommend it uh, with small kids because this thing is really heavy. So no kids, adults only, please. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make a mini room divider. And if you end up making one yourself, remember to tag me on Instagram at Sabrina Skelter or Skelterina. That's where all my artsy fartsy stuff is going to be going. Uh, I would love to see. That would be awesome. So until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye. You could see the chicken dance I'm doing down here. I'm doing down here. Oh.